Hi, this is Gregor from Baseball.com and today we'll have a look at the uh, Sire Marcus Miller Base, uh, the V7 version with a swamp ash body in tobacco sunburst. So let's check it out. There was a bit of an outrage when Marcus Miller uh, announced that he would leave Fender and uh, move on to make uh, these bases here with Sire. The Fender Marcus Miller signature base was of course not just a very uh, important base for the company, for Fender, but also for the players because it's this very uh, distinct uh, 70s kind of jazz base with this cool electronics and this very special sound that everybody enjoys uh, so much. So. Uh, this was kind of a sad day for Fender, but uh, a couple of days later, when uh, the first of those bases uh, appeared, nobody cared anymore so much, I guess, <laughs> because uh, these bases just, uh, they are just great. They are much more affordable than the previous uh, Marcus Miller uh, signature base. This, for example, is here in Germany uh, slightly below 500 euros, which really isn't much for, for a professional quality base. So um, let's get into it. Sire makes a bunch of different versions of this bass and this particular one is the classic uh, Marcus Miller bass as he would probably play it because that's exactly the combination that he's using since forever. Um, it's a swamp ash body, we have a maple neck with a maple fingerboard with a beautiful cream binding with block inlays, we have uh, 20 frets and we have a 7.25 uh, fingerboard radius so it feels very classical like an old school Fender bass. <laughs> For the electronics, uh, Sire is using two single coils here, two real single coils, and they're called uh, Marcus Super Chairs. And uh, in combination with the pickups, we have, of course, this electronic, and uh, they really put everything in here that they could find uh, somewhere. So we have the full load, anything you could ever need in a jazz bass on this little metal plate. It's kind of insane, but it's funny at the same time. So we have uh, a volume, master volume for both pickups underneath. Uh, we have a second control, which is a passive tone control, like on a passive, normal, usual, vintage kind of jazz bass. Then we have um, the blend to control the pickups, and then we have a 3 one EQ. We have uh, basses, mids, and treble. And for the mids, you also have um, a frequency selector. And in addition, if this wouldn't be enough, we also have an active passive switch. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Lars and myself are both really surprised. We've never played one of those bases before. We know they are around for a couple of years already, but uh, I've never got to play one and I can say I'm astonished. Uh, of course, we recently have a lot of affordable bases to check here um, and uh, the quality is stunning of uh, bases that you can get for, let's say, below 500 euros. Uh, this, however, is, is a base that I think could or should cost much more if they would sell it in shops for let's say a thousand euros or even 1200 or something like this i wouldn't notice i would play them and say yeah that's a thousand euro base no problem that's completely legit uh this price so selling them for slightly below 500 is kind of insane so if you kind of like these marcus miller active jazz bass sounds uh if you play cool slap stuff as he does and you want to sound like him or a bass that uh, can provide you sounds uh, like marcus miller then uh this is a complete no-brainer just get one um yeah i'm completely blown away by the quality and the sounds of this bass i think you can hear or you heard in the sound samples uh, what you can do with it it's an astonishing base uh, for very little money um there's nothing more to say about it uh, just check it out get one however uh, have fun that's it for today uh, have a wonderful week and uh, see you next time bye <laughs>